everyone is saying that AI is going to take all the dev jobs. That it is too late to start learning web development, even software engineering, anything really in the tech space. That, unless you're a genius with 10 years experience in anything that you're learning, you will never get hired. But I have been learning web dev for two months now, and I'm here to tell you that that is all wrong. This video isn't a tutorial, it's not a shortcut, it is not a hack, it was just the honest truth. The real talk I wish somebody gave me when I began learning web development. Because yeah, it's hard. It's frustrating. And yes, the internet is full of fear mongering, but here's what no one tells you. You can still become a web developer in 2025, even with AI and even if you're just starting. I'm two months into learning web development and let me be real. There were days where I feel like I'm crushing it and there are days where I feel like I'm learning basically nothing. You know, the moment when the code works, when you end up learning about Flexbox and you're just like, oh yes, this is how, this is what you're supposed to write. When you learn about functions and you understand exactly what's supposed to be inside of it. But then those moments when you get stuck, there are even days where you can get stuck. Hours where you can get stuck, man. It, it, it gets crazy. But not because I'm not smart, but because I'm not experienced yet. And that is what learning to code is. It is a mental battle. It is a mental gym where you struggle, you sweat, but eventually you will grow. Let's talk about AI, which is the elephant in the room. People will always say, why bother learning how to code, especially when there is AI that will just do it for you. Sure, AI can definitely write some code. It can even write some clean, fast code. But AI can't do the one thing you can do. It cannot think for you. It will not know your client's goals. It can't debug something that is unique to a business or an outdated system. It can't creatively problem solve something messy in messy real life situations. It doesn't ask why, it just does what it's told. That is where you come in. AI is your assistant and you're the engineer. You're the one who understands the problem, not just the code. The developers who win in 2025 and beyond aren't the ones who are going to fear up and coming AI. They are the ones who learn to lead it. Now let's talk about the job hunt and why it is so difficult for people to find an actual job. Mistake number one is only applying to big name companies. People want to work for Google, they want to work for Amazon, Meta, you know, the beautiful job titles of the world. But the truth is, is that there's plenty of jobs who need web developers. And this can be as simple as dental offices, local gyms, logistic companies, warehouses. And most of them don't even have a hiring page until you show up. What do I mean by showing up? I mean by reaching out, sending out cold emails, offer to help those not hiring businesses. They might suddenly realize that they do need you. Or how are you even just for a contract? Mistake number two, not doing free slash freelance work, right? A lot of people want a paycheck and I understand because we do have some bills to pay. But to build experience, sometimes you may have to do a couple of things without a check. You want experience? Make it. Build someone's landing page for free. Help somebody in your family who currently has a barber shop and build them a page. Remember, you're not doing it for the money at this moment. You're doing it for experience, for something to prove that you know what you were doing. I want to say here is what I have built, but not just here is what I have learned. And that's where a lot of people go wrong, especially when they get that computer science degree and they think that's going to help them get the job. They may not care about what you have learned or what proof you have to show that you've learned. What they care about is what can you do? Do you have the knowledge? Because there's plenty of people who can probably build better projects than CS students because they're relying on their degree while these people relied on their project and problem solving. Number three is only sticking to a front end, back end, or database instead of trying to become full stack. Now, I'm not saying in the sense that you should do all three at the same time. I do 100% believe you should keep your main focus on one of them as of right now for me. I'm focusing on front end to hopefully understand it within six months or a little bit more that I'm gonna be jumping to back end and so forth. But the best devs aren't the ones that can truly stick to one area and don't know any of the others. The best devs grow into full stack thinkers. That doesn't mean they do it all at once. Over time, you should touch all three. Front end being React, CSS, user experience, HTML, y'all know the front end stuff. Back end APIs, Node, Logic, whatever else is, is within that. There's a lot of things. And then database being Mongo, how data is stored. You want to be the kind of developer that can ship a project from start to finish. That's powerful and that is hireable. So 
what should you do to be able to become a, a web developer? So number one is to keep learning real problem solving, not just syntax. Number two, build projects that solve actual needs, even small ones. Number three is to share your journey, whether that is on YouTube, GitHub, LinkedIn, wherever you want to end up posting that, share your journey. Four is to reach out to businesses directly. And number five, use AI, but don't rely on it. Let it amplify your thinking, not replace it. AI is not replacing developers. It's replacing developers who can't, who can't think for themselves. If you become someone who could look at a messy problem, break it down and solve it with or without AI, you are valuable. AI is just a new layer in the stack. So if you're just getting started, don't quit. Don't get discouraged because somebody told you that AI was going to take over, it's impossible, or it's impossible to find jobs at certain places, certain companies, or even people telling you that you're too late. You are right on time because the internet still needs builders and you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be committed. Let AI be your assistant, but you be the architect. Journey is still worth it. And guess what? I am on that journey too. I want to be real with you. I don't have obviously a tech career yet. I'm just two months into learning this thing. So maybe you're thinking, why would I listen to you who currently doesn't have a job in that field? And trust me, that is a fair thought process. And I'm not, clearly I'm not speaking on experience. I'm not speaking from the top of the mountain. I'm actually speaking while I'm also climbing the mountain. But here's why what I am saying still matters. Something I shared today about AI, about the job market, about freelancing, building skills cold outreach it's not just theory but this is literally based on what real developers have had to say what hiring managers talk about and what you can see working right now if you look beyond the noise i'm literally studying the industry every day not just the code but the people who actually work in these places so yeah i may not be there just yet but i'm showing up and i'm learning in public and if you are early in this journey too you are not alone. Truth is still the truth, even if it's coming from someone who's still grinding. And I'll prove it by getting there one day. If you're learning web dev as well, subscribe, like, and comment, and share your journey to everybody who's gonna be reading it, your journey to me. Let me know exactly what you have been struggling on throughout your journey. Let's grow together. Let's build what AI can't, which is human solutions. Deuces.